bro, I, I am vulnerable right now. I, I got to go out to the liquor store and pick up a, a bottle of Hennessy Black for Tony. That's because you are like a dumbass team. That's a whole different story. Don't front like your team just been all that for the last 50 years. As a matter of fact, it's been 50 years between bowls for y'all. So they go that so, hurt pride again. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have bet for them six years or I'd been like, ah, I'm good. I know well, when and when not to. Now I roll the dice like a motherfucker. Uh, what is this, 2021, 2015? I'd have been like, so what's the odds? Who playing? Give me to 11:58 and I'll think about. Bad. Now I do the shit two, three weeks in advance. Well, I learned my lesson. I'm, I'm not, I'm not making or taking any more bets. Uh, probably for the next ten years or so. I just, I should hope not. The season uh, done hurt me, bro. The season done really hurt me. It started off with such promise. Uh, I knew from the moment that uh, the Washington email scandal started, it was over. Because yeah, right now your winning percentage on bets. Is about as good as Jose Canseco's batting average without Roy's. Damn. Yeah. So you're saying I got to juice up in order to get right? <laughs> what do you think, Mike? <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, since we're talking about my squad, I want to have a moment of silence for pretty much every starter on the team because half of them are going to be gone next year. And the way they was talking today, they talking about Carr about to be gone. It's like, he, he might be in that half. Years. He might be in they that half. Want keep him. They like the new coach. Don't want him. And they even said Mayock about to be gone. I was like, God that's damn. that's possible. Um, Mayock had a couple of years to uh, get us pointed in the right direction. We start off with five or six wins every year, and then tank. And, and I told you why. If you May look I at the way I they play, Mayock's yeah. been in the team for three years now. Uh, two years. Gruden was there for three. Okay. See, I mean, the, and you go sound crazy for this. It's kind of like the Knicks thing. When the Knicks didn't get Patrick Ewing that head coaching job and how they ceremoniously traded him away, they let him retire, Nick, they ain't been the same since. When y'all cut Jerry and then let Rod Woodson go when he was y'all's secondary coach, y'all ain't been the same since. It's like some players are so embedded into the team, you should let them go when they want to. When Jerry came to Oakland, it was like San Francisco 2.0. He was balling. And then all of a sudden it was like, then he became a journeyman, Jerry Rice. So it's just like- That's right, because he went to Seattle and Denver. Yeah. And so it's like, it's so many black marks, ironically, that don't help, I think every team has an aura. Like for us, that all that Belcher shit, when them niggas was wild on the plaza that people don't know about, we couldn't get over the hump. Once all that got washed away and cleaned out, team looked different. You know, new regime. You know, once we got rid of Carl Peterson, team looked different. Even on Pioli, we was better than Peterson, but Pioli was just a dumbass that that was that whole college connection bullshit that gave him a job. Was the same with Peterson, but it's just like I think now I'm gonna say this with Peterson and back in the Marty Schottenheimer days, it was that 12 yards in a cloud of dust, run heavy. You didn't have any good receivers, even when you had a good quarterback. Uh, so he got y'all close to the mountain, but not all the way to the top. The thing is, Peterson gave us good coach, and Marty. After that, it was just all about as my uncle, my uncle see the ticket over. Then he was like, Peterson's mindset was asses in seats because we go into the playoffs sell these tickets exactly I can tell you if you look during Peterson's regime them tickets are probably average 90% or higher every season yeah and and, and I agree with you on that because that's the same thing that Mark Davis is doing it's like hey we're in Vegas we got Vegas money and by the way tickets to a Raiders game are sky high I, I think that's all he's looking at is his bottom line hey, we that's why I said that. to you if and I'm speaking for other fans too because I'm in a couple Facebook forums and everything we're not going to continue to support the same old product because the same product is giving us the same result and what's the definition of insanity doing the same thing but expecting a different result and y'all just y'all better wife getting beat over and over 
That's probably a horrible analogy, but that's what it is. Damn. Yeah. Y'all Tina and he's Ike. Bro, what's love got to do with it? That's what you need to ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs>